I've got to get myself a catchphrase. Coming up next, Ruelas versus Dorsey on Fox Sportsnet. Hi again, everybody. Al Troutwig with Barry Tompkins, Rich Murata, Mills Lane, John Saracino, and Sean O'Grady. Let's take a look at the tail of the tape. First of all, Ruelas is 27. Dorsey's been around for quite some time, but that's because he didn't turn pro until he was 24, now at the age of 35. The height is similar, the weight is too, and the reach, well, it's a, an inch if you want to call it that, for Gabriel Ruelas. But the reach of Ruelas is only one of the aspects that we can talk about with John Saracino because in recent years, Ruelas injured his right elbow badly needed two surgeries to fix it and after all the pins had been inserted John his right hand is actually three inches shorter yet his corner likes the way it's made him a different sort of fighter yeah, exactly I tell you what that is a freaky thing to look when a man stretches out two arms and one arm is three inches shorter than the other and he showed us that the other day uh, that he's been through a lot of adversity this is a fighter who of course was involved in the ring tragedy with Jimmy Garcia he had a very difficult fight against Arturo Gatti, a, a fight that he could have pulled out. In fact, his trainer, Joe Goosen, very angry that the fight was stopped when it was. He was a whisker away from upsetting Arturo Gatti. Gabriel Ruelas was in the fight with Jimmy Garcia three years ago. Garcia died from injury, suffered in the ring. 13 days later, uh, Ruelas was absolutely crushed by this. He fought Azuma Nelson in the next bout and actually thought that he saw an apparition, a, a picture of Garcia with a look on his face that was happy that Ruelas had lost. At that point, he says he was able to finally distance himself from the agony of killing a fighter in the ring because he thought that uh, Garcia was enjoying watching him lose. So he's moved on. But this is a guy who was smuggled across the border with his sister from Mexico into the United States and never had shoes growing up, and that established yet another weird sensation in his closet. Well, he, he is his trainer, Joe Goosen, says, has the Imelda Marco syndrome. <laughs> he has hundreds and hundreds of pairs of shoes. And typically, he's got to give them away. He's got so many of them. He'll go into a mall and just buy up shoes, Al, have no intention of wearing them, throw them in the closet like Ameldo used to do. Of course, he's not spending government money. He's spending his own money. So he is, he is a weird kind of guy in that regard. You know, he, in, in his early years in Mexico, had no shoes, so it became a thing for him to own a pair or two. Troy Dorsey has made the uh, short drive over from Dallas, Texas. You know, it's big for mostly everybody, but here in Texas, even a big drive is a short drive. Now, his career is unique. He started kickboxing and martial arts when he was very, very young at the age of 10, turned pro at 24, and has suffered a loss recently that changes his status emotionally for tonight's fight. For the last seven years, he's had his father-in-law in his corner for every fight. He will not tonight. Last fall, his father-in-law drowned in a terrible accident. When he was telling us about it the other day, he, tears came to his eyes, very emotional. Troy Dorsey, very self-deprecating, humorous guy, a lot of guts, heart, determination, short on talent, but long on heart. His uh, mother-in-law will be here tonight, a lot of family, a lot of support. Now, this is a guy who has really committed himself to becoming a winning boxer. Committed himself how much? Well, he even went through some very drastic plastic surgery, didn't he? Well, they had to actually lift his scalp up, remove calcium deposits around the eye that had built up in hopes that when he would continue to fight, he would cut and bleed less. Because basically, as a fighter, he's been a poster boy for the Red Cross. I mean, he <laughs> bleeds like a stuck pig almost every fight. Well, through a stretch of eight fights, he lost six, all because he had been cut and they had to stop the fight. So that's this bout coming up. Gabriel Ruelas and Troy Dorsey from Dallas, Texas, to carry you through the proceedings. Let's go back to Barry Tompkins. Troy Dorsey making his way to the ring. Troy Dorsey's going to fight. I look for a good fight here. Both of these guys will give every ounce of blood and guts and energy they have in this fight tonight. This guy's been in a lot of wars, and Mills Lane is so right when he says he's fought everybody. He never had the luxury of fighting journeyman opponents and club guys, you know, coming up. This guy really was win with the very best right from the start. Yeah, and the other thing about Troy Dorsey, too, when you really don't expect him to jump up and do well, that's when he jumps up and does well. You bet. He's got a good man in the corner, and Curtis Coke. Curtis Coke can fight also. Curtis Coke the guy, of course, had a tremendous career, and he's trying to uh, teach a little bit of what he knows. What he knows is a lot about defense, a lot about how to manage a fight, and that's something that Troy Dorsey, first kickboxing champion to ever attain championship boxing in the American version of the sport. So Troy Dorsey and Gabriel Ruelas, and uh, Ruelas making uh, Dorsey cool his heels just a little bit here. That's an age-old boxing ploy. And Ruelas now is going to have to forget about all the ghosts. Just go about the business at hand. Well, I think.
think he's put the entire thing. If you're referring to the ghost of the Jimmy Garcia tragedy, I believe he's put that well behind him. He exhibited that in his last fight with Arturo Gatti, that he still had it, and he proved it to himself, and he proved it to his fans, that he can definitely get in there and slug it out and still put on a great show. And here is Gabriel Ruelas now with his people coming toward the center of the ring. And once again, Rich, I really have the idea that early in this fight, it's going to tell us a whole lot of the, of the whole story. Early on in this fight, we're going to learn a lot of the story. Yeah, they could possibly meet at center ring and just go at it. Yeah, never go back. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that may be the way that, it, that, that the fight is fought. I think that uh, Ruelas may try, however, to utilize a little bit of movement and a little bit of defense. Uh, you know, there's the old Styles make fights adage, and uh, I think in this case, Styles really are going to make this fight. He's going to make the fight. It's going to be a war. All right, we're ready to go then. We take you up to the center Ladies of the ring. Like the Festival of Champions continues, brought to you by America Presents. In association with your undisputed, undefeated king of beers, Budweiser, this Bud's for you. This bout is also sanctioned again by the Texas Department of Licensing and Regulation and the IBA. The three judges assigned at ringside scoring this contest on the 10-point must system will be George Garland, Roy Ovalle, and Rick Crocker. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action, Rafael Ramos. The boxers' records are brought to you by The Ring, the Bible of Boxing. And now, ladies and gentlemen, 12 rounds of boxing for the IBA Continental World Championship. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing blue, trimmed with white, and weighing 132 pounds. He has 29 professional bouts. His record, 15 and 10, with four draws, 11 of his 15 victories by KO from Mansfield, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the former IBO junior lightweight world champion and former IBF featherweight champion of the world, Pro. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white, trimmed with red, weighing 133 pounds. His professional record, 44 victories, 23 by knockout. He has only four losses, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, by way of La Yerba Buena, Jalisco, Mexico. Here is the former super featherweight champion of the world, Gabriel Ruela. Hey, Troy, Gabe, this is a free fight. Trush and protect yourself at all times. This only is going to be good. Take a look at the rules here in the state of Texas. Ten-point must system is in effect. The three-knockdown rule is two, and so too is the mandatory eight-count fight. It can be saved with the bell only in the last round. The referee or the, or the doctor can stop the fight, and the headbutt rule here in the state of Texas, we go to the cards after three rounds. Round one, Troy Dorsey and Gabe Ruelas, and there they are together. <laughs> Uppercut early on. Ruelas said he thought that this bout could end up in terms of style, being fought the same way that the Arturo Gatti fight was. Ruelas oh, trying to go to the right uppercut there early, and that's a very good punch for him. Right hand by Dorsey. Real chance of a clash of heads here, too, Mills. Absolutely, without question. They're going to flat get it on. That's what they're doing right now. In close. Well, you can count on this for as far as this fight goes. Dorsey leans over, though, comes forward. He's open for the uppercut. It's Gabriel Ruelas is one of his very best punches, and I know that they're counting on that tonight heavily. It's been, there it is again, a great shot for him throughout his career. Yeah, well schooled is Gabriel Ruelas, and uh, well scouted by Joe Goose. Combination by Ruelas as he opens up here early on Troy Dorsey. Dorsey is not a guy who's going to get you out of there with one punch. He just has a tendency to wear you out. You know that point you made about Joe Goose, and he's a heck of a trainer. For he loves this fight. It's a great corner that Ruelas has got. As does Dorsey. No punch, no punch, let's go. Well, Dorsey has been in more wars. Certainly more than Patton, I know that. 
he has fought and you remember he's only fought 29 fights and believe it or not 10 former current or future world champions he has fought in his career who would be a future world champion he's got his wife and his two daughters his mom on hand here in san antonio tonight when they are in close watch for the combination from morellas of right to the body and then a right uppercut that uppercut has been good for him, slapping right hand and now dorsey backs morellas up you know, Norellis is actually a threat. That Dorsey is stronger than Norellis, but he's, he's keeping Norellis right close. Watch the head, watch the head. But Dorsey really just trying to muscle Norellis at this point. Well, Dorsey wins fights just by outworking you, and he never takes a backward step, and he'll do this for 12 rounds if he can. Good left hand there. That gets Dorsey to cover up. When Ruelas throws that left hook, he throws it wide. It's kind of a looping left hook. He will oftentimes hold his left hand down low and then loop it around. He'll actually try to lure an opponent in with a left hand low and then throw the left hook over the uh, right hand. And again. Second round now. Troy Dorsey with that cut over the left eyebrow. We'll talk about that in a moment as we look at the numbers from the first round. And well, it's very effective. It's a lot of punches. Over 100 punches by Kimberly Morales in the first round. 10 9 Morales. That's the scorecard of Mills Lane. That cut over the left brow, Rich, uh, I, I know you recall we did a fight at uh, the Celebrity Theater in Phoenix, Arizona. It was our fight of the year last year, actually, Troy Dorsey and Rudy Zavala. And uh, that's exactly the spot that Dorsey was cut, and it really was a serious cut. Yeah, he had a vertical cut in that in that fight, and it was just a lot of blood, and yet he kept just going and coming and coming and coming at Zavala, and uh, finally ended up outpointing him in a just an absolutely tremendous fight. And he's he's still coming right here at uh, Ruelas in round two. Ruelas had a big smile on his face as he went back to the corner at the end of last round, and you get the feeling that he just absolutely enjoyed the combat. Well, this fight has been exactly as advertised so far. Joe Goosen wants Ruelas to work that uppercut. Just missed with that one. If you like fights and guts, that's what you're seeing here. Of course, he's doing a better job in this round, smothering Ruelas. Yeah, it is. But Ruelas, remember, can fight inside or outside. Especially if he gets that uppercut ripping inside. Dorsey now bleeding from the nose. And in a Troy Dorsey fight, you just take that as a given. Dorsey just missed that uppercut. Watch your head, Watch your head. Dorsey is absolutely there for the right uppercut of uh, Ruelas. Whenever he's thrown it, it seems to have landed. So whatever Dorsey does, separate himself from Ruelas. Ruelas makes it pay with an overhand right. There's the left hand. He's going to win the fight, though. He's going to win it on attrition. He's just going to wear his man out. I thought he's done a good job in this round of just mauling Ruelas. That's his game. And a two. Round number three, and uh, they meet in the center of the ring. Start laying in on each other and throwing punches. That's the story of the fight. Troy Dorsey, a former kick fighter. He's the only kickboxer who has won a world boxing champion. That's a slip. No knockdown there. He now teaches American Taekwondo as well. 
He's on that Taekwondo studio since he was 18 years old. Very enterprising guy. Look at the numbers through two rounds, and uh, you can see almost 100 punches around thrown by Gabe Ruelas and Dorsey not far behind, except that Ruelas' connect percentage is much higher. I liked uh, Dorsey that round, 10-9. I was hustling my thought, but it's a good close round. There's that uppercut, throwing it from outside, and is that a difficult thing to do? Morales just loading up. You know, Gabe has many skills as a fighter, but he feels apparently that he doesn't really need to show him tonight, and he's just using his punching ability. He knows he's stronger than Dorsey, but it's a good idea to think about the fact that you got a long way to go in this fight, and Dorsey isn't going anywhere. Morales won the championship. WBC 130-pound crown in 94, a decisive, unanimous decision over Jesse James Leha in Las Vegas. Scored knockdowns in the second and 11th round of that fight, and one overcame two-to-one odds against him in that bout. Really looked brilliant. And of course, two fights after that, the good right hand by Ruelas, the, the Jimmy Garcia tragedy happened, and that changed everything, it seemed like, in his life. Low blow right there. Thought that might give Dorsey a breather. It was an excellent right hand. Knocked Dorsey sideways. I'm going to go now Dorsey back with the right hand. Oh. Now this is looking just like the Gotti fight. Got a pure six ball. Just what we expected. And just what the fans had hoped for. One of those anything you can do, I can do better. They both got there. Come on, come on. Please, no punch. No punch, baby. No punch. Let's go. Let's go. being done here but there's a lot of fighting this is fighting at its basis brutal in that ring gonna be a lot of respect amongst these two afterward i'd be willing to bet those are the grunts that uh, sean o'grady was talking about us we wind down in round number three, on, and it's on, been on, on, everything on, on, that we expected. <laughs> round number four. Now, they want Rollins to box him a little bit more. Let's see if he does. Well, he has the ability to do so. There's a right hand by Rollins. But sometimes Gabriel gets caught up in a fight, <laughs> and he lets it go at that.
Brown, Dorsey has not opened up again. They've done a great job on that in the corner. Good shot there. And Wallace has been waiting for that, looking to counter, looking for Dorsey to make a mistake inside. But he could get a lot of leverage on that because he had his back to the ropes. Round five, and I don't think much will change. Come on, bring it up, bring it up, bring those punches up. Come on. You can see the punches to the body and to the head. Good shot there. And both men got there. Yeah, I like Dorsey that round. 10-9. He kept Ruelas on the ropes and held him pretty good. I think Ruelas is putting himself in danger and taking unnecessary punishment. He's a better boxer than he's shown. Yeah, jabs are uh, an absolute rumor in this fight. <laughs> I can't recall one. <laughs> it's very funny that uh, Dorsey said he's really been working on his defense with Curtis Coates, and of course there's been no evidence of that, but he was going to show us all tonight. And Ruella said that the, although he fought against Gotti the last time in a pure six ball, that he'd show something different here tonight. Well, and then the instincts take over, don't they? Well, that Dorsey's defense is his offense. I mean, he keeps the heat on you. Referee's doing a good job, too. Letting them fight, but not letting them tie up too much. Good job by the referee. Turn the tables for a moment at Dorsey's back to the ropes. Dorsey's uh, beginning to puff up more now in the uh, face, not just the cuts, but now we're talking about some real puffiness. Yeah, both eyes. Come on, you hurt me, you hurt me. Right, right. No push, let's tough go. way to make a living. I always said tough way to make easy money. <laughs> Shots him. Yeah, yeah, he did some work from long range. There's been precious little of that tonight. And Ruelas would be the better fighter at long range. And Dorsey is uh, puffing a little bit. Every time he takes a step back, he takes a deep breath through the mouth. Never really seen him do that. Good uppercut there. Caught Dorsey on the way in. And another good shot in close. Gabriel still smiling. Dorsey smiled at the end of that last round. I'm not too sure what's so funny in there. Yeah, I don't see. There's not a lot of comedy going on here. <laughs> so a big walk out of the left eye of uh, Troy Dorsey. Much better round for Ruel as well. Much better. End of five, and we go to Sean O'Grady. Sean? Thanks, Barry. I'm talking to Greg Goosen over here. They don't like for uh, uh, Dorsey to keep taking Ruelas back to the ropes. You know, it's about positioning here, and what you're trying to do is give that judge the impression that you're winning these rounds. If your back is against the ropes and you're leaning on those ropes, that's a bad impression on the judges. So what they want for Gabriel to do is to either push back Troy Dorsey or spin him. So move off to the side. Turn around and let him fall into those ropes. Barry? All right, Sean, still a long way to go, of course. 12-round fight. We've gone through five. That's the face of a pugilist. He's with me, but keep him going back. All right? A lot of puffiness okay. under that eye. Get up the pad where the right eye of Troy Dorsey as they start round six is suddenly blown wide, or blown closed. This is blown up, puffed up, and it's closed now. Yeah, and it really did happen suddenly. I didn't even see it at the end of the round. It, no, he got closed. It, it, the accumulation of the punch, he got a good right hand on it near the end of the round. And they were working more on the left eye, and the right eye in the meantime just blew up. 
numbers uh, thus far, and again, a very high connect percentage from Gabe Wells. And that eye is going to be a problem. It just happened just right now. I like Ruelas that round, 10-9. Ruelas that time seeing in that last round, seeing to get a little bit more into punching range. Yeah, he kept him at long range, but he had some good shots. Well, the eye, I think. He's throwing that hook, doubling and circling up on that hook on the inside. the Jimmy Garcia tragedy, the one thing a lot of people wondered about, would he ever be able to really fight effectively? Would he be able to engage in a brawl? After that uh, fight with uh, Garcia, of course, he fought Azuma Nelson. He lost the title. He looked totally lost in that fight. Now they're stopping the bout to take a look at the eye. No, it's a cut. It's a really serious cut. He opened. He just opened up like a tuna can. Okay. It's the eye that's sharp. And now That they stopped the fight. It's, it's a serious, serious cut. It's not only serious, it's even though it's a deep cut in the lip. Dangerous place. You know, a guy like Troy Dorsey, like you, you guys, he's puffing up, and then when it's split, bang, they go like that. Well, we did it. As you would expect amongst uh, two real gladiators here. I don't think there's any question about that. Right now, back to Al Troutwig, Al. All right, Barry, you heard Gabriel Ruello say to Troy Dorsey, we did what we said we were going to do, and that was beat the fajitas out of each other. More boxing action from San Antonio, Texas, when we return on Fox Sports Net. This from USA Today, and well, I guess your overall impressions are pretty much what you could have said before the fight even went off. There's no secret, Al, that Troy Dorsey has had a problem throughout his career with cuts. It stopped many of his fights before, and despite all that expensive plastic surgery, I don't know if he got in Beverly Hills or not, <laughs> it really didn't matter. It couldn't save him tonight. All right, we're going to go back and look at some of the key moments in this fight. I thought that in the first round, Gabriel Ruelas dictated things with uppercuts and one big left. Well, particularly the left hand and the right hand. Ruelas is stronger punching on the inside. But I tell you what, you got to give credit to Troy Dorsey staying glued to Ruelas' chest. Good strategy by Dorsey in the fight. Third round, Dorsey battled back with two big rights. Ruella smiled when the round was over. We jump to the fourth round, more of the same, face to face, big right by Ruella. Yeah, eventually Troy Dorsey was going to get the worst out of those exchanges because Ruella's the power puncher on the inside, but you see the right hand by Dorsey find the target near the end of the round. By the fifth round, Dorsey's eyes began to get puffy. The right one closed, and now we go to the sixth round when the referee I'm stopped it. I'm out. The blood, the bad cut as it exploded open over his right eye. Yeah. Be great friends, like now back live in the ring, Gabriel Ruelas in this junior lightweight bout wins it in the sixth round with 302 punches landed compared to just about half that for Troy Dorsey, 67% to 38%. A convincing victory. Let's go to the ring and Michael Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Rafael Ramos calls a halt to this bout. Following the advice of ringside physician Dr. A.T. Carrasco, severe cuts suffered by Troy Dorsey over the eyes. The official time, 1 minute, 25 seconds of round number 6. The winner, and now the IBA Continental Champion, Gabriel Rilla. Let's go down to Sean O'Grady. Okay, Gabriel Ruelas. Wow. Gabe, I, I want to know what you said to him right after the fight. You went over and talked to Troy. Well, I told him, you know, that uh, uh, unfortunately this is a business where uh, we have to uh, meet against each other, even the best, uh, big, best guys in and outside of the ring. But, uh, you know, we did. And uh, even though the outcome, we still uh, hope to be great friends, just like we were before the fight. And, uh, you know, unfortunately, th this sport, there's not that many room for uh, all those fighters. Gabe, I don't know if I want to be one of your great friends. Why did, why did you go right after him at the first of this of this fight? You know what? I was tired of waiting in the dressing room. I wanted to go out there, do what I did with uh, Gotti, 
fortunately this time better outcome but uh you know that's 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 my new way of fighting i'd say you know i uh, i'm tired of winning fights by decision you know so uh you know i'm almost i have almost 50 fights i want to make it a fight not only for myself but i want to give the fans a great fight okay gabrielis congratulations a good win for you tough kid and a tough fight gabrielis now runs his record of 45 and 4 with 25 KOs. Al? Still to come in our live Festival of Champions, Azuma Nelson and Jesse James Leha go at it for the fourth time in their respective boxing careers. We'll be back in a moment here on Fox Sports Net. West.